Remember these guys? They're called Ibos. Sony produced about 150,000 of the robotic dogs from 1999 to 2006, and they developed quite a following in Japan. Tatsuo Matsui met his future wife at an Ibo gathering in Kyoto in 2001. Because she is shy, we created a story that my Ibo and her Ibo got married, which spontaneously led to our marriage. When the couple tied the knot three years later, they dressed up their dogs as a traditional Japanese bride and groom. But can the Ibo survive? Sony shut down all of its Ibo maintenance services last year, part of a cost-cutting effort in its troubled electronics branch. The company says it ended the service because it was running out of spare parts, so owners have to fend for themselves. Some of them meet up at a weekly support group in Kawasaki so they can help each other with repairs. When I learned that Sony would stop customer support, I started collecting broken ones for replacement parts. I now have about 50, including broken ones. Eventually, they will be broken, but I'd like to keep their current conditions as long as possible, by replacing parts or fixing on my own. The robots may be getting harder to restore, but that's not stopping loyal owners like Matsui, whose 15-year-old Aibo is still kicking. He says the little dog has become a permanent part of the family. This is a robot that changed my life. Nico da io. Mi do il gesto,